Hey, hey, hey. Jimmy Z here, the big Jimmy Z show. I took the day off yesterday, 9-11, because I had a fair amount of work to do in the mapping area. And, um, you know, an amazing thing happened. I'm not sure if it was all from uh, the embedding of my video. I had a video commentary on YouTube from my show about uh, August 20th. And I talked about bikers and Muslims and 9-11 and the coming ride. And I was uh, pretty down on it. And I think it was in part because that video was picked up by one of my least favorite websites, Before It Spews. And I've since come to find out that Before It's News is a huge website. Huge. I'm a gnat by comparison, but still, I don't like the the kind of stories and articles and videos they pass around, conspiracy stuff and articles from sources that really don't have any credibility. Anyway, so they posted one of my commentaries, and the damn thing went viral. And I'm not ashamed of what I said, even though uh, there's a couple of things that uh, I was clearly incorrect about. A couple of estimates <laughs> that I made uh, regarding how many people were going to show up on the biker side and the Muslim side. And so I'm going to talk about that. But the video went berserk. I think over the weekend, that video, it was doing pretty good on its own. Because of the topic, I suppose, but... I was getting about nine to 10,000 views at the time, Saturday or Sunday. And then views started picking up. I noticed that it was skyrocketing. And by Tuesday, that video had 50,000 views. On Wednesday, it was well up over 70,000 views. And today, hang on, let me go over here and check this. That thing was up uh, this morning <clears throat> when I got up. It was up over 90,000 views. And right now, it's sitting at 94,279 views. And to be honest, the vast majority of people listening to this commentary hate it. <laughs> they really don't like it. So at the beginning of the show today, I'm going to elaborate a little bit on what I was saying where I was wrong, apologize where I need to, and explain some of what I was saying that, that I believe was misunderstood. And my first idea was to go back to the original audio and play portions of it and talk about where I was right and where I was wrong. But that's going to take forever. And I've got so much that uh, I want to get to in today's show that I'm not going to do that. I am going to post the original video, the link to that commentary on YouTube in the show notes. I'm not hiding from what I said, but um, you'll have to watch that. If you, you can listen to that original commentary if you missed it, is what I'm saying. First off, I have nothing but respect for American Patriot bikers. Nothing but respect. And I do think at the beginning of the, of the commentary, I'd said something about the entire idea of writing for the purpose of confronting Muslims in Washington, D.C. was a bad idea. And I said it was stupid. I think that originally set people off. I mean, from that point, it's hard to come back. Misguided probably would have been a better word. I'm not calling people stupid, and I'm certainly not calling bikers stupid for feeling patriotic and having had enough of the threat from Islam and Sharia law here in the United States. I realize a lot of people are paying attention. I realize a lot of bikers are veterans. And so I have nothing but respect for people who are bikers. And no, I'm not afraid of getting my ass kicked, and that's why I'm backing down. I'm not backing down. I, it, there was never a point during that original commentary when I was uh, trying to make bikers my enemy. First of all, I don't need that. 
Second of all, my show has never been about creating enemies. I'm not trying to create friends either. I'm expressing myself. My show is not about trying to become popular. All this is about is what I think about politics, about social issues, about culture, about whatever crosses my mind. If I want to sit here and talk about taking a dump this morning, that's what I'll do. I've never done that. I mean, I have taken a dump, but I ha- I've never talked about taking a dump on the show because <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> I don't think that's good radio. And besides, it's already been done by Howard Stern. <laughs> <laughs> no, my show is about me and what I think. The problem with that video becoming viral is that it's one commentary, and I don't expect everyone to agree with everything I say. That's not going to happen. But it's a shame that the first commentary on YouTube that goes wild and gets nearly 100,000 views is something that 70% of the people who are watching it don't like it and disagree and think I'm an a-hole. Now, I, I can take it, I didn't delete one comment. There are um, probably about 1,400 comments under that video. 1,400 comments. And 90% of the comments, 90% of the people who bothered to write a comment are ripping me a new one. (laughs) They really are. Some of them vicious. There's a plane going by outside. I don't know if you've got headphones on. You can probably hear it. I've got the windows open because it's cool this morning, finally. The weather in Southern California finally cooled off a bit. It's going to heat up, but it's going to be drier. It's a dry heat, so it doesn't feel hot. It was very muggy. It felt like Florida out here for about a week and a half. Anyway, um, uh, the bikers. I made a couple of estimates And I never thought that the Muslims were going to have anywhere close to a million Muslims and march around Washington, D.C. I set an over-under at about 130,000 Muslims, and that was way off. (laughs) It turned out to be um, somewhere between 25 and 50 people. Not 25 to 50,000 people. 25 to 50. I've heard people say it was 20. I've heard people say it was 25, 35, and 50. So I'm going to say there were probably about 35 people there. And you can see the pictures. If you look, um, I think one of the articles I have in the show notes has a picture of these people, and it's pitiful. I almost felt sorry for them at first. I mean, I don't, but um, I was tempted because it is so pitiful. But uh, then I started thinking, and I do believe now that there was never really any intent by this small group of Muslims to have a million people show up. They had about three or four dozen people that were going to show up, and they could have named it the Three Dozen Muslim March in Washington, D.C., and nobody would have talked about it at all. So they called it on purpose, the Million Muslim March. Because they knew that that would create a buzz and that would create angst. That was the point. Creating angst. And this is the reason why, and I've been very misunderstood on this point, but that was why I said that this rally should be ignored. I was not saying ignore everything Muslims are trying to do in America in the name of Islam and Sharia law. I was never saying that. What I was saying is, these are people who are purposely trying to create anger and angst because that's what Muslims get a charge out of. And back around the 18th and 19th of August... All over Facebook, people were talking about, all right, those bikers are going to go out there and confront those Muslim sons of bitches. And that's what I said was a bad idea. And I still believe that that was a bad idea. A lot of people in the comments are telling me that that never was the concept. 
that doing a counter protest of the Muslim march was never the reason for the bikers riding into Washington, D.C., but for many it was. And what I was reading on Facebook, on specific Facebook pages, and comments from a lot of people that I'm connected to, was that this was just what America needs. Bikers to confront Muslims. Bikers to confront the threat of Islam. And I don't think that was a good idea. And I still don't think it would be a good idea. And I'm fully acknowledging that that is not what happened. For a couple of reasons. The biggest one is that only 35 Muslims showed up. (laughs) That's so ridiculous. So it seems to me that the bikers, some of them anyway, gave a lot of publicity to 35 Muslims who never would have gotten anywhere near this much attention had it not been for the bikers speaking out like they were going to go to Washington, D.C. and confront these sons of bitches. And there are still people on YouTube, not the majority, by far not the majority, but there are people who are saying that the bikers should confront the Muslims and should do battle and get into a violent confrontation and kick some Muslim ass. There is that element there. And again, I'm not saying it's a majority. I'm not even saying it's a large minority. It's probably about 3 or 4%, if that. Maybe a lot less. Most bikers are not interested. I, I believe this. Most bikers are not interested in confronting the Muslims and having a big blowout. But I had one guy uh, came on the Jimmy Z Show Facebook page and wrote a couple of comments. I've got it here. I, um, I saved the transcript in a Word file. Guy's name is James. He wrote all this stuff to me and he blocked me. So we had this big argument and then he blocked me. That's, uh, that's real courageous, James. Jimmy 